In the last upload, we put out our flags that to go underneath the tire of a vehicle, kind of our display flags, and it just kind of draws attention, uh, as you as most of you guys seen. And in that clip, I also mentioned that by the end of the day, uh, the rest of the dealerships in town would have their flags out. And I said, mark my words. Well, I kind of have to eat those words. However, today is Wednesday. That video went up on Tuesday. And those guys have got their flags up. So it only took an extra day for them to see that we had ours out and it was time for them to put theirs out. So it goes to show, you know, they're paying attention to us. Well, good morning guys. It is Thursday, April the 12th, and today in the town of St. Stephen has been designated as Jersey Day. As you can see, I'm wearing my Jeff Gordon jersey. Why Jeff Gordon? Because I don't follow very many sports other than NASCAR, and although Jeff Gordon's been retired for a couple of years, this is the only actual jersey that I have. So the reason why it's Jersey Day is it's in solidarity of the Humboldt Broncos bus crash. The hockey team that lost several players, the death toll unfortunately is now up to 16. So around town people have decided that uh, we were going to do a jersey day. So you wear a jersey in solidarity of the victims that lost their lives and the families affected by this crash. So I'm wearing mine. Uh, I don't know if any of my other staff is going to be wearing theirs, but there will be several others around town today wearing their hockey jerseys, whatever they can get their hands on. And uh, it should be a very special day here in the town. So if I see anybody else wearing their jerseys, I'm going to get a few snapshots and I'll share them with you guys. So we're just heading out for lunch and uh, decided to take the 2013 Ford F-150. And this thing's got the uh, 5 liter, and only the second time I've ever driven a 5 liter, and man, it works some good so far. I've driven quite a few of the EcoBoost V6, and they work really good too. There's all kinds of power. In fact, there's not a terrible amount of difference in power between the EcoBoost and the 5 liter. I mean, yes, there's a small horsepower difference, but those EcoBoosts really do work good and set you back in the seat. The biggest difference, and probably the biggest reason why I would never own one, is because I like the sound of a V8, and you know, this V8 in this truck just sounds so good. I don't think I could drive a vehicle without that sound. So I'm going to grab some lunch, then we're going to head out the highway, and we'll see just how good she really works. We're going to test the uh, 0 to 60 on this uh, Ford 2013 Ford F-150. It's an extended cab four-wheel drive with the 5 liter. So there it is. And we'll see if we can uh, record this in a safe manner. All right, so here we go. Dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a rocket. I can't imagine what it would have been if I uh, didn't spin the tires. I mean, it just wanted to go. Zero to 60 in 6.98 seconds. That's according to the GPS app on my phone. We're going to try it one more time just to see if it's actually right. Here we go. Man. 
I want one. <laughs> oh, shoot. That'll put a smile on your face all day long. I don't care who you are. I love this app, by the way. The app is called Zero to Sixty. course I've got an Android phone so it's available on Android and uh, I will check on my uh, iPad to see if it's available through the App Store as well <laughs> and this thing is a friggin rocket it's a pickup truck that's crazy well my little rocket ship Ford F-150 did not last long we had somebody looking for a truck like that so I was uh, able to give him a text. He came in, saw Bill. Bill got them all fixed up. He's driving away with it now. Bye bye, rocket ship. I am so amazed at my community during a day where collectively most of Canada has gotten together and put on their jerseys in this solidarity for Humboldt, Saskatchewan amongst this tragedy. Facebook, for once, is amazing me with the amount of support from different businesses and people who have uh, put their jerseys on and and shown that support and I want you to take a look at some of these local businesses that have done that Pretty amazing, huh? This morning, I made sure that, again, I wanted to do my part and show my support for those fallen hockey players. I made it a point to put it on my sign to show that Humboldt is in our prayers. I know this has been a little bit of an unusual vlog for what we normally would do. But I just feel that it's important that we take the opportunity in times like this to show that we care. <laughs>